get ready to rock out with some of the most positive musicians across the country. I want people to enjoy this as much as I do, and the only thing I could do is sing and play guitar, and it makes me smile, it makes other people smile. Oh, we're gonna get you on your feet today. By his love of music, it's made my love of music grow. Woo! Come discover the healing powers of music. When I heard there was uh, like music therapy, I was getting so excited. And the inspiring people and messages behind these tunes. Music can provide a sense of well-being for older adults. We can provide a sense of mastery, ends up being something that brings people together. Hey everyone and welcome. I'm your host, Michelle Macaluso. Turn up the volume, this is Good to Know. If you can do something to help, do it. Try your best to help others. It's just awesome to see patients smiling. Their hearts are so big. Oh, he's so much fun. <laughs> he is a lot of fun. Whenever I walk into the classroom, it's always like very happy. He's more than generous with his time and his knowledge and his talent, and it's that's a pretty cool thing in a person. I got a love for them. This is one of her biggest dreams, biggest dreams. We love celebrating musicians, but we've never met a musician with the talent or the instrument like this guy in Ohio. Down a private drive that ends at the lake's edge is a house with a surprise inside. I come from a long line of musicians. Sometimes you can see it through the windows, but if you listen carefully, you may hear it from the street. So this organ has 7,406 pipes. Eugene Blackstone is a doctor at the Cleveland Clinic, and when he isn't working, he's playing. I've called it a choral organ. It's an organ with a lot of pipes that are playing, not very loud. Blackstone has been hammering away at the keys, pedals, and stops of a pipe organ since he was little, brought to music through his father. I'll teach you organ about a quarter of the time, but three quarters of the time, you got to really learn the piano. See, this is the first organ that I built. He's played during his time in the Army. 1969-ish or so. And his first few years as a practicing physician in Birmingham, Alabama. That was what it was like at Christmas. <laughs> Over the last several decades, as Blackstone's love for playing the organ grew, so did the instrument itself until it outgrew his house. So this organ is from scratch. Instead of getting a smaller organ, Blackstone built a bigger house. So Richard Fleischmann was the architect. He had done between 60 and 70 churches, knew all about pipe organs, knew about sound. All those shapes are purposely there to reflect certain frequencies of sound all the way to the paint. The walls are double thick walls. The windows are one inch thick windows instead of the usual, so they're commercial type of windows. Uh, everything to keep sound rattling around in here. Don, come in, good, good to see you. you. He recognizes his privilege. <laughs> and wants to surprise other people. These pistons only control this pedal. Okay. These control that pedal. Oh, got it, got it, got it. Okay, so that makes sense. Who need a place to play or practice during the pandemic. I'm listening to the organ if it's getting the tonal quality that I want. It's up an octave. Half of four is two. So... We keep young with the students, I would say. 
You can sit here and just play all day if you wish. Pre-pandemic, this room turned into a small concert hall. And so that first recital, I think we had 50. And then 7,500 people. The amount of people interested in playing has surprised Blackstone. It's great to have this instrument being played all the time. Organs love to be played. Beautiful. I just keep traveling, just keep wandering through states, keep coming through. This is like my fourth time through Michigan. On Tuesday, the sound of an electric guitar floated through a business intersection just off Alpine Avenue. A wisp of live music, a rare sight and sound these days, performed for each passing car by a 26-year-old traveling musician originally from Memphis, Tennessee. I'm Darren Yacht, uh, I'm a Pisces, and I play blues guitar. He left his home in Memphis almost nine years ago after deciding to wander with his guitar into the unknown and across the country. Tommy Jones did it, uh, Robert Johnson did it, uh, Stevie Ray Vaughan was a Crossroads player, uh, Bob Dylan was too, and uh, I mean, I just want my journey to be like them. I walked from uh, Memphis to Little Rock, Arkansas. I caught a bus from Arkansas to Chicago. I walked from Chicago to here. I left from here, went to California. I've seen Oregon and Washington doing this. Struggling in school when he was younger, Yacht always knew in the pit of his being that he was meant to play. My dad and my uh, every, every foster parent I went through when I was a kid, they just were like, he's really good at guitar. He loves guitar and it's the only thing I could ever focus on. For him, the road provided more of an education than any classroom ever had. I mean, I've learned a lot about people, people watching, uh, just learning what people like, what people don't, taking requests on the road. As a busker, I broke like stage fright and talking in front of people young um, because like singing and guitar was like my favorite thing to do. In his spot on Alpine Tuesday, not asking for money, just sharing the storied tones of his blues guitar. I want people to enjoy this as much as I do, and the only thing I could do is sing and play guitar, and it makes me smile, it makes other people smile, so. There's so much more that's good to know and more talented musicians to discover, like this music teacher who was inspired at such a young age. When she was an uh, elementary school student, I was her band teacher. She was one of my first students that I ever taught. Starting trumpet in his band class, it was definitely, it felt like that first time where you're really feeling like you have your music community and you're starting that journey. Now, she's giving back. It will be music to your ears. It's good to know.